हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज डॉक्टर भूपेंद्र खड़ायत फ्रेंड कपल ऑफ वीक एगो आई हैव पोस्टेड वन वीडियो ऑन वाइट ट्रस्ट ऑफ मस्टर्ड व्हिच इज कॉज्ड बाय एल्बियो कैंडिडा इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू ओनली लीव सिम्टम्स एक्चुअली एल्बियो कैंडिडा कॉजेस इन्फेक्शन इन टू फेजेस फर्स्ट फेज व्हिच अकर्स ऑन लीव्स एंड सेकंड फेज व्हिच अकर्स ऑन स्टेम्स एंड फ्लोरल पार्ट ऑफ द मस्टर्ड on leaves it produces small white pustules which are mainly present on the lower surface and these pustules later on may enlarge and merge together to form larger irregular shaped lesions which are often filled with white spores now on the stems and floral part as this is also known as advanced stage of the disease and due to systemic infection caused by this pathogen and hypertrophy and hyperplasia development of stag head formation takes place which is the deformity of or the swelling of the floral part and this is also most damaging to mustard plant in terms of the yield friend as you can see the pustules which are present on the pods flowers and stems these are rupturing the epidermis of mustard plant and these are also filled with white spores friend this can be a, this disease can be air borne and soil borne and seed borne also as you can see in this video also this uh, white spores has been adhered with my finger so it can be transferred by unknowingly by any farmers or workers who are working in the field from diseased plant to the healthy plant and this pathogen also transferred by insect like aphids and honey bees from diseased plant to healthy plants at these spores are easily adhered with the legs of and mouth parts of the insect agencies what are the favorable conditions for the disease development if temperature reaches or ranges from 12 to 25 degrees centigrade and relative humidity reaches up to 70% coupled with warm weather and intermittent rain takes place this favors mostly to the development of this white rust disease now how we can control this disease we should spray radomil mz72 at the rate 0.5% or we can spray mancojeb at the rate 2.5% and we should destroy the crop residue as it can survive or it can harbor the pathogen in the form of o spores uh, spores and mycelium and we should also rotate the crop for 2 or 3 years because it is also a soil borne disease thank you for watching this video